Gavin, welcome to uh, Stoke City. How much are you looking forward to, to this phase of your career? Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm buzzing there. Really excited to be here. Obviously, a massive club with um, a lot of history. So yeah, I'm just delighted to get get here finally and uh, looking forward to getting started. Yeah. When did you know of Stoke's interest? Has it happened quite quickly for you? Yeah, it's been quite a quick process. To be fair, obviously we were in uh, the off season and I was back home in Ireland and uh, we heard about the interest uh, a couple of weeks ago. So it's been a quick turnaround, fortunately. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm delighted to get here. I'm just looking forward to getting on the pitch now. What do you know of the of the club that you've joined? Yeah, I know a lot about it. Obviously, I remember them back in the Premier League and stuff, and obviously I'm sure the club has aspirations to get back there, so um, that was all part of the process with coming here that, you know, this season that we try to get back there. So, um, obviously, like I said, there's a lot of history and huge club, so no better place to be for myself at this stage of my career, I think. looked like last season was a bit of a breakthrough season for you because you became quite a regular down at Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah, at the start of the season I featured regularly, obviously, and played a good few games. Obviously, I played down here. Um, in the away fixture, so um, yeah, it was a good season for myself. Obviously, and towards the end, came out a little bit. But this season now, I'm hoping to, you know, get off to a, a flyer and hopefully get in the team uh, from the start and you know really push on in my career. So, were you not tempted to stay down there and try and challenge for Premier League football? Yeah, obviously that's that's obviously a big pull, um, which obviously I had to you know make a decision on. But I think obviously with the, the size of the squad and stuff like that, and obviously now the plan will be to come here and, and help Stoke. Um, do well and in turn hopefully do well myself and then maybe next season go back to Bournemouth and see, see where that takes me. What sort of player are Stoke fans going to see? Uh, I'm obviously a centre midfielder, I like to you know help the team dominate the game with the ball sort of. Um, so yeah, I'd like to say obviously I'm a midfielder who likes to get on the ball and likes to play and then obviously I'm not afraid to do the, the other side and get stuck in. Obviously that's so important in this league which I found out last year so <clears throat> um, I wouldn't shy away from that side of it so I'm looking forward to getting involved both sides of the game. Yeah. I mean research, you like a diagonal pass do you? Yeah I don't mind one, yeah especially um, I think the way Stoke played I've seen some videos and stuff and <clears throat> um, it looks quite expansive and stuff so I'm sure that pass like that might be on but yeah obviously all sorts of passing ranges and stuff and you know just keeping the ball moving. Do you know many of the lads here or any of the lads here? Uh, no, not really. Obviously, I know them all. To, I know all the names and stuff like that. So, obviously, some really good players here. I wouldn't know anybody personally, no, but obviously, I'm looking forward to, to getting to know the lads, yeah. And when you come to a, to a new club, I mean, it's, it's only the second time you've done it because you yeah. joined Bournemouth as a 16 year old. Does it feel like a fresh start? And will there be nerves on yeah. your first day? Yeah, it, it is quite a change for me. Obviously, I've been in Bournemouth for six years now. Um, this would have been my seventh year, I came at 16. So it's obviously a big change for me and a, a big thing. But um, yeah, it's great. It's probably a breath of fresh air, like you said. And maybe it's just what I need at this moment, you know, a change of scene and hopefully a uh, it's something to kick start this season and see what happens. It's a big step for you, but it can't be a bigger step than leaving Dublin at the age of 16 yeah. to, to move to England, can it? Yeah, no, exactly so. It's nothing that I'm not used to. Um, like I said, I left home at a young age, so it's only it's three hours up the road from uh, from Bournemouth. But obviously, it's closer to Dublin, so it's, it's, it's a lovely location and we're looking forward to you know seeing what it's like up here and it's, it's not far from home, so it's good that way. And you'll be going back to your homeland next week for the for the pre-season trip. Yeah, yeah, good start. Yeah, when I heard we were going over to Cork, we were obviously buzzing because it's not too often you get to do that, obviously, um, and you don't get home too often. So it'll be lovely to get back and uh, hopefully get get a game in against Cork City. So.